Hi guys, today I've teamed up with Shanta Kai to show you how to create this soft glam eye using their most beautiful eye skincare and eye products. I hope you enjoy. So to start this eye, I'm going to start by hydrating the eye area. It's really important if you're working on an eye focus to make sure that the skin is really plump and fresh and hydrated before. I'm going to be using the Shanta Kai Rose Demai Eye Lift. Um, this is a really beautiful product. It's super hydrating, but it's not greasy. It has this really cool applicator where you just kind of press here and the product comes out. The um, applicator has like a cool feel to it. It helps to reduce the puffiness around the eye and it just feels really soothing. So I'm gonna apply that nice and smooth around the eye. I like to go all the way around. I'm now going to go over the top and put these gold energizing eye lift masks on top. They have um, peptides in them that are super firming and hydrating and also help with um, blue and fine lines around the eyes, which I definitely have. I really like these ones because they have this kind of unique texture to them, which means they don't slip down the face. Sometimes um, I put these on my client and I'm doing the eye and they're like slowly slipping down the face as I'm doing their makeup, but these ones sit on really nicely. And I'm going to let them sit there and soak in the moisture while I'm doing my eye so I have a super hydrated eye. And it also is a really great way to catch fallout as you're doing a makeup. So to start this eye, I'm going to be working with the Luster Glide Silk Infused Eyeliner in Olive Brocade. I'm going to be doing a really nice kind of soft cat eye that's really fall. It could be a summer look too. It could be winter. I feel like green's a really versatile color. I'm going to start on the bottom because I want to make sure that I get the right angle. Um, so many people ask, how do I get the right angle for my wing? My biggest, biggest tip is to follow the bottom line of your natural line of your eye and kind of extend out and that way you're getting kind of the most flattering look to the eye to give it a lift and when you close you already have that kind of marker in there so I'm gonna work quickly because these do set and I want to I want to blend these out so they're nice and soft so using a brush I'm just gonna blend this out so that it becomes more of a soft line but you could also leave these as is. This eyeliner kind of has a really festive feel to it. It's a green, but it has a sparkle to it, but it's not kind of an expensive sparkle. It's really nice and kind of subtle. And then just look straight ahead and balance them out. So now that I'm happy with the shape that I've put in with my pencil, I'm going to go over the top with a shadow to give it a little bit more intensity. And the shadow is going to stick really nicely to the eyeliner that I put underneath. This is the Luminescent Eye Shade in Sophisticated Olive. And this has a beautiful little monogram, not monogram, picture of a rhino on the front. Um, all the proceeds from these shadows have different animals on the front and they go to different wildlife sanctuaries so particularly love these eyeshadows so I'm just gonna dip in and then I'm gonna go over the top and this is kind of a slightly slight variation on the shade that I have I'm gonna press it on top and it's just gonna give it a little bit more intensity and definitely gonna give it a lot more longevity because we're kind of setting the pencil now Having these shields here is really great because it's catching, even if it's just the smallest particle of this glittery product so that we don't have to clean up later. I'm now going to go over the top with a different green from these beautiful eyeliners. This shade is called Black Forest. 
it's a green sheet however and I'm going to be adding in a little bit more depth right at the lash line with a different shade of green. Okay, that looks really pretty. I'm just going to be putting it along the lashes so that we're getting like this nice fade from this green to, um, to the other green that I put on. I'm now going to go in with Les Pearl in Argent. This is a um, beautiful liquid liner that comes in quite a few different shades and I'm going to be using the goldy tone and I'm just going to be putting it on the inner corner of my eye here to add just a little bit of a pop of light in this inner corner here. Just going to press it a little bit so that it softens. Next I'm going to apply lots of mascara. Um, this is the Chantecai Longest Lash in black. So wiggling it right at the base of the lash to open up the eye. Now I'm going to remove these shields and I have a nice clean base there. And I can feel that's all absorbed. So I'm going to go in with the Chantecai Le Stilo, Camouflage Stilo, the corrector pen in the shade 3. I need the shade 3 because it has. I feel like it had a little bit more pink in it. And um, we're just going to remove any green under the eye. Also going up underneath with the pen underneath the shape that we've created is going to help to lift out the eye. Pressing it in really makes it become part of your skin. If you just put it on with the brush, I feel like people sometimes make the mistake with these pens. They put it on and they're like, kind of like, oh, it's not, it's kind of not really even, but you really need to press this one in and tap it into the eye. This one is also a hybrid of makeup and skincare for the eye area. So it's super hydrating as well. So I'm just going to finish off this look with another shade of the Chantecaille eyeshadows in warm champagne. And I'm just going to place it on my cheekbones. It's super smooth. It's actually a really perfect um, highlight color as well as an eyeshadow. Not too sparkly. So here's the finished look. There are so many different variations you can make with this eye using different colors. It's perfect for all the mask wearing we have to do these days and I really hope you guys enjoyed it.